has been Hotel is finally out. The first four episodes were pretty good, and there's a lot to unfold. While many of you may have only watched the American version of the show, I also checked out its international adaptations. These versions had quite a few bizarre changes and some pretty decent moments. Trust me, it's gonna be interesting. Let's get right into it. First off, there were several changes to the characters' voices. Alastair's radio effect was quite different in the Spanish, German and Brazilian versions. Take a look at this. Wasteful souls struggle to accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly. It seems like they added way too many effects to the Spanish version. The American one seems to me the most fitting. What do you think? The German adaptation played with the effects too much as well. Zestel and Vox became especially monstrous in the German version. Just give it a listen. Was hast du gerade gesagt? What did you just say? Werde ich mich an den Schrein ergötzen I do revel in the screams. Man, he sounds like pure evil in German. This effect and how these German actors act make these characters amazing in this version. The Vox song also seems incredible in German. You can hear that they added the sound of electricity, which kind of fits this character. Willkommen daheim. Du wünschst dir gleich, du wärst nie hergekommen. Alistair from time to time also sounds evil in German because of the sound effect. Your status quo will know its race is run. Dein status quo weiß dann genau das was. For me, these changes made these characters better. Let's move on. Katie Killjoy's voice took a different turn in various versions. As you remember, she's got the deep low voice in the American one. She was even voiced by a guy. But in some versions, like the French and Hindi, her voice is way higher and more traditionally female. Next extermination is happening sooner than ever before. I'm not sure why they made this change, but hey, that's just how they did it. Now, in the fourth episode, Angel Dust talks about his rival in the adult movie industry. In the American version, she's called like this. Stephanie Titfucker. But in some other versions, they switched up her name. In the Spanish adaptation, she's Tiffany Cubana, which hints that she's from Cuba. Maybe that refers to the stereotype that Cuban girls are usually in good shape. In the Brazilian version, she's Tiffany Española. In the Mexican version, she's Tiffany Huge Breast, which is quite similar to the American version. I wasn't able to understand how her name is adopted in the Turkish and Hindi adaptations. So if you know any of these languages, let us know her name in these versions. Now, there are 13 official versions of Husband Hotel out there. All of them are fully dubbed except for the Polish adaptation, where a man does all the voices. Tough luck for Polish folks. Kurde, słyszałaś to? Tak, stałam obok. Wybacz, eksterminacja mnie stresuje. The German version dramatically reduced the number of swear words, so there were maybe about half as many as the American version. Not sure why, but there were many instances like this. Save demons from extermination, which is the whole fucking point. And for der Ausrottung retten wollen, und genau darum geht es dabei. Pretty fucking hardcore, don't get me wrong. Zahl ist nicht krass hardcore, versteh mich nicht falsch. Now, it turns out Husband Hotel has a different name in Spain. It's called like this, which translates to the Hotel of Old Glories. Honestly, as much as I like Husband Hotel, I can't quite figure out what that's referring to. Maybe some of you have a clue. Please drop a comment and let me know. A few times characters in the international versions sang a bit of key. Just take a listen to Angel Dust's song in German. I don't recall anything like this in the American version. Also in the song Poison, Angel Dust in German has this super robotic voice. Also another actor voiced him when he sang, which was very apparent. Lover, lover 
Germans love adding as many sound effects as possible, don't they? In my opinion, Poison is poorly adapted in the German version. Now, Vox song in Spanish seems off to me as well. Speaking of Vox, his voice occasionally changes in the American version. Other adaptations try to do it as well, but the Hindi version seems to have ditched this idea, leaving his voice normal. What did you just say? I don't know why they decided not to add any effects in this scene. There's an interesting detail about Sir Pancius. In the American version, he emphasizes the S sound whenever he talks, giving it a snake hiss effect. It's a great detail, but not every version retains this as it should have been. Yes, German version, I'm talking about you. In the scene where Sir Pancius comes to Husband Hotel, his hissing is just a part of the words he says. I come in peace. But in German, it has nothing to do with the words he says, so he hisses regardless. Ich komme in, Frieden. in this particular scene, it seems that he hisses just to make a joke. In contrast, in the American version, he has to hiss, because it's kind of a part of his accent. Later on, Charlie makes a joke about hissing, starting every word with the letter S and adding emphasis. Slithery, slippery. Special little man. Well, this joke is missing in German. Schlüpfrige, glitschige, besondere kleine Mann. The Turkish and Hindi translators also didn't pay much attention to it. In the third episode, we meet Zestil. In the German version, he uses the formal form of the word you. I think it was done well, since he's the oldest overlord. And probably died when people use such a form of the word you pretty commonly, which makes it a perfect reference. Also, it seems that Adam's German voice doesn't fit the character. What do you think? <laughs> but it's such a bummer, man. Everything down there is just so, blah, you know? <laughs> As you know, the American version had plenty of adult joke, but the Spanish and German adaptations almost always adapted them pretty decently. I don't even have to show them to you since they're pretty much the same as in the American version. There is also a pretty exciting change in the same old German version. It happens at the end of the fourth episode. In the American adaptation, Alistair calls these egg guys monsters, while in German he calls them little rascals, which is kinda cute. The little monsters prove to be rather useful. Diese kleinen Schlingel haben sich als überaus nützlich erwiesen. The international versions of Husband Hotel are interesting to watch. Yeah, not all of them were great, but at the same time, they had their strengths. For instance, the German one had some issues, but also had pretty well adapted scenes, as you saw today. Anyway, I've only touched on the first four episodes of Husband Hotel in this video. Subscribe to see a similar video about the next four episodes when they come out. See ya!